Hello guys, it's Jake Oliver here for another TFT video and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to install a semi-custom crosshair in TF2. Now I've been trying to figure out how to do this in-game with just a custom crosshair, like just a crosshair on its own without messing with anything else. And it seems to be quite difficult now due to anti-cheat systems, anti-modding systems. There will be ways of doing it and I have found a way of doing it. But it's just so goddamn difficult. So I've actually come back to Toon Uh I have to thank you guys as well. The J Calibers hood is actually coming up on the recommended. I don't think it's on top themes uh, yet, but it is. Uh, oh, it is. Yep. Top themes. J Calibers hood. Uh, we're actually in the top chart now, as in the last 14 days. And that's just uh, that's absolutely sick, you know, of the amount of YouTubers that were on Delphi, you know, Please Hood. Soundsmiths hoods, you know, just oh, some, of, some of the big ones. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is show you how I'm now going about customizing my crosshairs in my hood, which will still be available in the description below, because clearly you guys are still loving it. So if you come all the way down here, well, it'll be easier for you, but if you're making your own, this is what you do on your own hood, but I'm going to show you how I've done it in my hood if you download my hood and download and change my hood. So you go down to the crosshair section, click this, and then you can choose any of these. Any of these, that's already in the game. That's kind of like the standard crosshair, not very usable, it's already in, that's already in. But like some of these other ones are actually quite, I kind of like that one, used that once or twice. And uh, yeah, some, some of these like stranger little crosshairs, you can actually find quite usable. I've used the square once or twice, obviously, because things work on an X and a Y axis in games having a square isn't actually as weird as you think it is the little darts and uh, yeah it's just I don't know they're uh, they are they are quirky some of them I quite like that I, I can't remember uh, that's very that's um CSGO uh, that, that comes from and uh, you can mess with the, the, the numbers and blah, blah 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 but then to actually install it oh yep you can do stuff like that you can rotate it blah 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 and do all this uh, but what you actually want to be doing is, okay, you can actually, oh my god, they actually spin. That's incredible. I don't even know I could do that. I might actually have a spinning crosshair. Yeah, we're we're, we're actually gonna, we're going to make that now. We're going to get ourselves a spin. I, I I was actually like not planning on doing that, but like now because I've seen that, I really want. And then we're gonna we're gonna keep the color quite bright. I use pink a lot, not for any weird reasons or anything. It's just because that's the color that I use, because it sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, we'll keep it the same. We'll keep it the same, and we'll keep that crosshair in for now. Then what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the top on my custom made crosshair. I'll save it, and then it'll be super easy for you guys to do because you just press the download thing. Like you have been, because loads of you have been. It's just mad. You go, loads of you guys have been, uh, don't need that one anymore. That's been from testing today. You're gonna wanna go here. You're gonna right click, extract all. This is a bit that most, I'd say about 78% of the problems that I've been helping you guys with in my Discord have actually been about. It's been about that bit, the extracting. People haven't been doing it, which is fine. But uh, I'm gonna go, control X, local C disk. Program files, go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom, and then I have a HUD there, but I'm going to just delete that, and then V, that was my new HUD that I put in, close that, and then you go and you open the game. Now that we're in game, as you can see, you can go here, you've got your these crosshairs here that are just like the built in ones, but if you actually go into the game, should be able to see them. And as you can see, I have my crazy moving crosshair built in. I've got two at the moment that are overlapping, but the circle one is the only one that you need to focus on. I've got uh, the default TF2 crosshairs installed as well. And uh, I like how when you get the bat, it changes to a different version because uh, I've got default crosshairs turned on. But you can actually mess about with these in this bit here. So that will like add a circle, or it should do. Uh, 
Yep, so now I've got a circle and the rotating circles. So you can actually make the Overwatch one. Uh, the, the most common one, the one I've actually been trying to make, which is just like a circle with another circle in it. So it'll be around here somewhere. It's literally just a dot. But yeah, but yep. Yeah. So that's it. That's that's like me got the, the Overwatch crosshair, the, 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 co the custom one. Lots of people try and have this one made or customly made and put in. You can tweak the sizes on my hood or if you're having issues with that, I can tweak the hood for you. And uh, obviously the more, it's not gonna change it for everyone, I'll just tweak it if any uh, any of you are having issues with it. But that's what it looks like when I aim, but I've not been playing lots of TF2 at the moment. So I've got an actual moving hood and a solid one. And you can actually, you should be able to just turn Hmm. It's weird that it keeps uh, keeps standard. I wonder if you set it to default. Yeah, then you get that as well. It's very weird. It won't it won't let you turn the the crosshair off. I get, I'm getting crosshair and hood mixed up a lot. But uh, what you should be able to do is if you open console commands, if you're into that sort of thing, crosshair. And then if you set it to zero, yep, that'll get rid of it. And then you've just got what's left, uh, which will be that, if you only want the custom crosshair left in. Same as uh, same as what I've commented in the comment section below on one of my most famous videos, the how to install a custom HUD in TF2, which I've kind of just like quickly gone over in this video with you. If you're having any issues messing about with my custom crosshair that I've put in, then comment down below. Uh, if you think you need a little bit more help, then I have a Discord and Twitter. Uh, Twitter is usually just for a laugh, uh, where I post funny stuff daily. But the Discord, I have admins and I and my others will help you sort out your issue with your custom crosshair. Um, assuming that it's my HUD you're using. Not that I'm trying to force you into using my HUD. I'll try and explain it to you if you're using someone else's. But it just makes it a tiny bit easier if uh, you're using my version just because obviously I can go in, I can edit it and it's very simple. Anyway, I have been Jay Caliber. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and if, as I say, any issues, uh, go join the Discord or comment down below and I'm sure we'll sort you out. Catch you next week for next week's TF2 video and on Wednesday for my new GTA 5 online highlights video which I've absolutely loved making. I've been Caliber. See you next time. Adios. Thank you.